नमस्कार आई एम रवींद्र काटोटी फ्रॉम बेंगलोर कर्नाटका आई एम अ हारमोनियम आर्टिस्ट टुडे आई एम हियर टू शेयर विथ यू माई व्यूज आइडियाज अबाउट हारमोनियम एज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड सर्टेन आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लर्निंग हारमोनियम हारमोनियम इज very interesting and wonderful instrument it symbolizes the tremendous digestion capacity of indian culture to assimilate foreign things concepts ideas languages cultures etiquettes and so forth even though french in origin harmonium has become part and parcel of indian culture music and society it is an ubiquitous instrument you can find it at all the realms of socio cultural activities may it be classical music concert or it may be qawwali mushaira it may be bhajan or kirtan it may be a music recording studio it may be rashtrapati bhavan concert or it may be even a street side beggar so wherever you may find this instrument everywhere it has carved its own place in our socio cultural setup on the basis of the number of lines of reeds so this we call as lines we have single line double line triple line and four line harmonies so for single line harmonies there will be only only one line of reeds as this harmony has got so if this is open you can see only one line of reeds so this harmony which i have been playing so it is a double line harmonium it has got two lines of reeds so that gives us a um, deeper uh, tones of sur we have got one more set that is of triple line harmonies so in addition to these two lines one more line will be there and some harmonies they will be having four lines <coughs> on the basis of scales the type of scale we have got again different varieties one is fixed scale harmonium so this one is fixed scale the scales are fixed there is one more variety shift scale harmonium or shifted scale so here in fixed scale original fixed scale harmonium the the scale as well as pitch they are same that means f plays for f g plays for g c plays for c but in case of a shift scale harmonium the scales have been shifted so in case of this harmony my harmonium the d pitch has been shifted to f that's why it is called shift scale harmonium there is one more kind of harmonium that is called change changing scale harmonium or scale changer harmonium wherein you can literally shift the scales change the scales from one uh, one note to another note say from c sharp to say d from f to a whatever whichever is convenient for your playing for your fingering you can change the scales that is called scale changer harmonium on the basis of uh, positioning of reeds we have uh, vertical reed harmonium so here the reeds are vertical and horizontally reed harmonium that is flat reed harmoniums so instead of vertical reeds the reeds will be placed horizontally flat the suitability as far as suitability is concerned so vertical harmoniums they sound better than flat reed harmoniums because these flat reeds they give a rather uh, slightly uh, rough sound the sound will be uh, rough as compared to vertical reeds <coughs> then on the basis of structure we have got again different types of harmoniums one is on one side we have got leg harmoniums as we are seeing here 
and one more is beta carbonium so the beta carbonium as we play regular and as we see regularly in all concerts now let me let me explain you leg harmonium leg harmonium is one of the oldest variants of harmoniums from reed organs we got leg harmoniums here the air is pumped by pedaling bellows so then the whatever air that is collected inside passes through these pipes which enters the air chamber inside and when we play the keys the reeds vibrate and harmonium sounds so the the major privilege of this leg harmonium is we can use both the hands and play the tunes or songs as against this leg harmonium for which we have to sit on a chair and while playing so these are the beta harmoniums that means we have to sit on the floor which is more convenient for indian music and the style of performance of indian music so these are called beta harmoniums again we have got again two types one is box type which is regularly formed this is box type it looks like a box so this is a folding harmonium this way it was folded now also so looking at the bellows type of bellows we can have again two types of harmonium one is top fold bellows and side fold bellows so it is of top, this is the top fold bellow harmonium so where the bellows fold and fold from the top whereas in this harmonium bellows fold and fold from as particular side if you are right hand player they open on left side if you are left hand player they open on right side now let us see different types of reeds of harmonium there are three different types of reeds one is bass male and female in colloquial indian languages we call bass as kharj male as nar and female as madi a middle octave reed or note that is male its corresponding lower octave reed is bass its corresponding higher octave is madi so like that we have got kharjner harmoniums nerner harmoniums kharjner madi harmoniums a nerner harmonium is one where both the lines are male 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 so both the lines are male so it is nerner harmonium it sounds like this <laughs> so whereas a kharjner harmonium wherein one line is kharj and another line is nar it sounds like this so in case of a kharjner madi triple line harmonium the sound will be like this so this combination of all the three kinds of reeds it is very much helpful conducive in case of rikatha kirtans ghazals or light music or say mushairas even in case of dramas so triple line harmoniums are used like that depending upon the size of reeds or the dimension of reeds we have got again two kinds of reeds one is standard reeds another is harp reeds standard reeds they look like this they have their width is normal standard size whereas harp reeds their width is lesser that is they are narrower so these harp reeds they play with minimum air their uh, tone is bit sharper and firmer for solo playing particularly these harp reeds are preferred much more one more variety of harmonium is harmonium with couplers a facility called coupler so it is provided in the harmonium if you operate this coupler so for pressing every note a corresponding lower octave note will be pressed automatically so which gives us a deeper uh, tone the harmonium gives a richer uh, sound <laughs> Thank you.
Now, let me explain you the structure and design of harmonium. So, these are called external bellows. We call them in colloquial language as bhata or bhati. <coughs> so, when we the bhatas are unfolded, the valves get open, they are open, the air enters inside, and when we press the bellows, whatever air is there in external bellows that passes to the internal bellows, it passes to the internal bellows. So, this internal bellows they are inside, so I cannot show right now. So, there is a spring, strong spring below this internal bellows. So, when an air enters internal bellows, the bellows they, they, inf they are inflated. So, with the inflation of internal bellows, the spring inside it gets compressed. After once we let out the external bellows, the compressed spring starts stretching. So, when it starts stretching, the internal bellows, they push the air into this chamber. This is called sounder of the harmonium. Here, the harmonium reeds are placed. So, once the air enters this chamber, it starts circulating there. And whenever we press, when we press the key, when we press a particular key, the air passes through, through this reed and when the reed vibrates, it produces the sound. It is how harmonium sounds. This is called the board. This board, it has got air stoppers. So, these air stoppers, they either open the holes or close the holes. This gives us a choice to play a particular line of reeds or not to play a particular line of reeds. So, even though we have got three lines of reeds, we can play only those lines of our choice. Suppose if a harmonium is kharjnar madi, we can play either kharj or kharjnar or kharjnar madi or nar madi or only madi line. Okay. Now, let us see how a harmonium is tuned. So, as we know, harmonium is a free reed instrument where the reed has a bass end and a free end. Now, when we want to tune an instrument, suppose if we want to increase the pitch or sure of the a particular reed, then we have to file at free end. If we file at free end, the pitch increases. If we file at base end, the pitch decreases. Some harmonium players or harmonium tuners, they use wax, wax to tune harmoniums. They apply wax at base end to increase the pitch. They apply wax at free end to decrease the pitch or bring down the pitch. But the usage of wax, it muffles or it uh, uh, it reduces the tonal quality of the reeds. So it is better to file the ends, base ends or open ends. There are mainly two types of tunings. One is tempered scale tuning, another is Gandhar tuning. In case of tempered scale tuning, all the notes they are equidistant that means the internode distance is same here this tempered scale it is almost same as uh, piano scale western scale when we come to indian classical music this tempered scale doesn't fully suit the requirements of indian classical music that's why we use, we apply or we uh, uh, tune the harmonium in a different way that is called Gandhar tuning. So in Gandhar tuning harmonium, the Madhyam 
is lower than tempered scale madhyam panchum is higher than tempered scale panchum gandhar and dhaivat they are much much below than the tempered scale gandhar and other uh, notes say re ga uh, maybe shuddha rishab komal rishab komal gandhar tivra madhyam komal dhaivat komal nishar and shuddha nishar they are tuned with a uh, precision and judgment for a particular scale and if harmonium is uh, tuned for a particular scale with gandhar tuning it has to be used for that particular scale only for example if you tune a particular harmonium for f with gandhar tuning then you have to use that harmonium for f scale only you cannot play um, harmonium for any other scale maybe say d or e or c sharp whatever because if you use it for some other scale it will not give a surail playing a tuneful playing <laughs> as far as sitting postures while playing harmonium are concerned usually players sit like this cross legged just and they can play harmonium some others they may sit like this and play harmonium <laughs> so those who are uncomfortable playing harmonium while sitting on floor they can sit on a chair and put the harmonium on a stool or another chair and play it and in uh, dindis where uh, these devotees they uh, walk along the road singing bhajans even some people they uh, tie a strip to the side the handles of harmoniums and they just hang it to their neck and play it is also one of the postures as far as playing techniques of harmonium is concerned with right hand we play on keyboard and the left hand is engaged in pressing bellows to take air inside the harmonium the bellows are very important part the manipulation or playing pressing of bellows is very important of important part of harmonium playing it is as important as respiration for a human being shwasa the way we take in the air that is most important thing it it not only decides the flow of our play it decides the volume of the notes it also has got a very direct effect over the emotional part or expressions of harmony playing so when we press the bellows we should take care that we are playing harmonium with minimum possible air if we take too much of air so that that will create a loud noise that will bring down the clarity and the expression content of harmonium playing it is disturbed not only that too much of air intake may uh, it may damage spring it may damage the internal bellows it may damage the uh, reeds also sometimes <laughs> 